Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Value Added Taxes Table. And here, it is not valid in the US. In the US, we have no value added taxes payable. So it is only for International Accounting or IFRS. And what is it? It is a consumption tax. Tax is placed on a product or server whenever value is added at a stage of production and at final sale. So we don't pay tax based on revenue, but on value added. And basically is the tax from the difference between purchase or production and sales. That is how we pay it. Cost to end user, normally a private individual, similar to a less tax. Uh, uh, similar to a sales tax. So for our, for us customer, it doesn't change a lot, but for companies, it changes a lot. Tax is collected every time a business purchases products from another business in the product supply chain. So let's go to our Excel file. Oh, a lot of files open. Uh, and all our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. So let's consider it. Uh, San Santiago Farms, which that is Santiago is the last name of my wife, so it's our faith company. Uh, grows wheat and sells it to Scarping Baking. Scarping my, is my faith company for 1800 euros. Later, Scarping Baking sells bread to customers for 3000 euros. And assume here the VAT is 10%. So, okay, let's focus on Scarping baking so okay we are purchasing it so debit purchase or inventory depending if you are talking about uh periodic inventory system or not so 1800 euros and accounts payable 1800 however we have a problem here because 10 percent of it is bad it's value added tax. So, which one do we change? Purchase or accounts payable? Scarping Baking will pay Santiago Farms 1800 euros. So, accounts payable is right. What is wrong is the purchase. So, our VAT is 10%, 180. And this VAT is a current asset. And purchase is the difference between both. It is the number to balance our journal entry. So purchase now is net of tax. And let's go to our sales. We sell it to customers. Cash or accounts payable, 3,000 euros. And here, the same. We balance this journal entry based on Sales. So we use sales revenue to balance this journal entry. So we need to pay 10% of taxes. So VAT payable, 3,000 times 10%, 300 euros. And sales revenue is the net number, 8,700 euros. However, there are some countries uh, where we have sales revenue, 3,000 euros. And a second journal entry, VAT expense and VAT payable, 300 euros. For instance, in Brazil, where I, where I come from. So check your local uh, tax laws about that. However, I will not pay 300 euros because I already paid 180 to, to, to Santiago Farms. So I will pay only the difference so we need to balance here and we have two vet accounts vet on, on current asset and vet payable current liability we close the lowest balance the lowest balance is 180 so vet payable and vet 180 here and then we uh it is here so VAT, current asset, it's closed, no balance, and VAT payable, 120, 
So next month, when we will pay it, it will be debit by payable credit cash. And here, don't forget, uh, when we are selling, we also have the cost of goods sold if we are working with permanent inventory system. Instead of periodic, where we have the cost of goods sold only at the end of our period. Okay, guys, that's it. Quite easy topic here. So subscribe our channel. Please, it's very important to us, and you will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. Like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. And if you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have a nice day, and God bless you.